Countries around the world are building new cities of the future to accommodate our growing population. These cities have new design concepts and incorporate amazing new technological innovations. So join me for today's video as we take a trip around the world to explore 10 amazing future cities currently under construction. Number 10. Legion Forest City. In recent years, China has begun to turn towards greener energy alternatives, and one striking example of this is Legion Forest City. The idea behind it is that all of its buildings will be completely covered in plants and trees, with all of these buildings having square and rectangular cubicles for people to work and live in. The hope is that these cities can be as close to carbon neutral as possible, and while one of these buildings with a capacity of 500 people has already been built, the goal is to make an entire city of them that can house up to 30,000 people, 40,000 trees, and more than a million plants from over a hundred different species. Number 9. The Amiadil Lake City. Senegal is one of West Africa's more important economies. Yet, in order to propel it to the next level, the government has begun construction of the Amiadil Lake City. Being built in an attempt to relieve the congestion of the capital city of Dakar and spur new business activity, the project is coming in at a whopping $2 billion and should be completed by 2035. The hope is that the city will have several futuristic buildings, with some of the highlights including the Abu Dhabi International Conference Area, the Dakar Arena for Sports, and an exhibition center. However, given that the construction began quite recently, and since many things are still up in the air, only time will tell whether or not it will develop into an important urban metropolis. Number 8. New Santara. While Indonesia's capital city of Jakarta is a crowded and lively place, it's also somewhere that may not exist in the next hundred years. After all, due to the over-extraction of groundwater, it's sinking at an alarming rate. In fact, in the northern part of the city, it's sunk by two and a half meters in the past 10 years. And research shows that some areas could be entirely submerged by 2050. As such, the government of Indonesia has decided to build an entirely new capital city known as Nusantara. Construction began in July of 2022, and the move is expected to cost a whopping $32.4 billion. It's said to be fit with towering skyscrapers, and it will hopefully surpass the already bustling capital of Jakarta. Although we won't know if this will be the case until its completion date of August in 2024. However, given all the resources going into it, I wouldn't be surprised if it's quite beautiful once it's complete. Number 7. King Abdullah Economic City. Saudi Arabia's oil money has allowed it to seriously propel its growth. Yet one mega-project that's still currently causing it to get caught in the sand is the King Abdullah Economic City. It was first announced in 2005. The idea was to make the city one of the world's most competitive investment destinations by having it filled with economic infrastructure, such as ports, railways, and industrial factories. Covering an area roughly the size of Washington, D.C., and having a planned capacity of 2 million people, the city was supposed to be a jewel of the Middle East. However, the reality has been far from that. Still a work in progress, only about 40% of the project has been completed, and to date, there are only about 10,000 residents. As such, while the city is filled with super modern-looking villas, they are all but empty, and only time will tell whether the city will ever grow to King Abdullah's initial projections. Number 6. Finland's Bunker City. Russia and Finland have always had a bit of a tense relationship, and given the war in Ukraine, the idea of a Russian conflict in Finland seems all the more likely. However, Finland has anticipated a potential conflict for decades, and just a few months ago, it revealed to the world that it has a massive underground city that's all but ready for a major clash. Located 30 meters below the ground of the capital city of Helsinki, the 9 million square meter city is able to house a whopping 900,000 people and it's strong enough to fend off a potential nuclear threat. Given that Helsinki has a population of 650,000, its sheer size is pretty incredible, and when you further consider that Finland has Europe's largest artillery stock, an army of 240,000, and national conscription, so every man is able to fight, it becomes clear that Finland is really ready for anything. And while many of the details surrounding the Helsinki bunker's construction are currently under wraps, what is clear is that it would be an important defensive tool against any sort of Russian aggression. Number 5. Nurkit. In recent years, China has begun debuting its Belt and Road Initiative around the globe, with the idea being that it will create a global trade network that spans across over a hundred countries and makes the Hidden Kingdom exceptionally rich. 
On the forefront of this initiative has been the investment of billions of dollars into infrastructure abroad, and there are few places that exemplify this spirit of development quite as much as Nurkent. Located in southeastern Kazakhstan, near the Chinese border, the idea is that it will accommodate 100,000 workers serving the nearby Korgo Stry port, and as part of its funding structure, a Chinese logistics company has 49 ownership of the land. The hope is that this city will be a gateway to the rest of Central Asia, making it vital to the realization of China's grandiose plans. Yet, while the hopes are high for Nurkin, China is currently going through some tough times financially, and so the viability of the Belt and Road Initiative as a whole may be in jeopardy. As such, it's unclear whether or not Nurkin will become all that's being cracked up to be or not. Number 4. The Line while most cities are made up of multiple buildings that add a level of character and personality to the area, the line throws these conventions out the window. That's because, as the name would suggest, the line is a line made up of two parallel skyscrapers. The entire city will be contained within a structure that's 200 meters wide, 500 meters tall, and 170 kilometers long, and will stretch across an area of land in the northwest part of Saudi Arabia, near the Red Sea set to hold a total of 9 million people. The structure will be extremely futuristic, and if the current plans are realized, it will feature vertically layered homes, offices, public parks, and public schools, year-round climate control of all indoor and outdoor spaces, and a high-speed rail that will transport residents from end to end in just 20 minutes. With all of this supposedly meaning that the city will have no cars, streets, or carbon emissions, Built as a part of a plan known as Vision 2030 that's intended to draw in 100 million annual visitors. Work on the project began in October of 2021, and the city is set to be complete by, as the project name suggests, 2030. However, while the structure may be futuristic, many are also seeing it as dystopian, and therefore, a significant number of people would rather not see this city be created. Yet there is certainly an argument to be made either way, so I invite you to leave your hot take in the comments down below. Let's get some predictions down there about this one. Number 3. Mina City of Tents Every single year, Muslims from around the world travel to Mecca, which is known for hosting a massive pilgrimage event known as the Hajj. Every Muslim in the world is called to attend at least once in their lifetime, and as a result, as many as a million people attend each year in order to fulfill their holy obligations. Historically, many pilgrims in attendance have stayed in the Minna Valley, but in 2022, Saudi Arabia upgraded the living quarters by creating a massive tent city. In essence, it's a massive hotel scheme to make money for the central government, with the cheapest tents selling for $2,700, the mid-level tent selling for $3,400, and the highest level selling for $3,900. This tent city attempts to make the Hajj a much more enjoyable experience. Rather than having everyone cook outside and live in relatively cramped conditions as was common in the past, this tent city allows for everyone to have their bedding and basic necessities provided for, with everyone having an adequate amount of space and being fed three meals per day. In terms of amenities, the tents are air-conditioned, have electric outlets and mobile phone chargers, and share communal areas, toilets, and bathrooms fit, with access to freezers and fridges at receptions that serve ice-cold water, snacks, and ice-cold refreshments free of charge throughout their stay. In the case of a fire breaking out, water tanks with a capacity of 200,000 cubic meters of water are ready to be used at a moment's notice. And all in all, the experience is far safer and more hygienic than it has been in the past. Given its budget of $627 million, it seems like they have a lot of hope in the project. However, even in the best-case scenario, the entire project will not be completed before 2025, meaning it will be a while before this futuristic model is realized. Number 2. New Administrative Capital Egypt Egypt is one of Africa's biggest economic heavyweights, and its capital city of Cairo is where the beating heart of the country lies, home to 9.5 million people. The city is a bustling metropolis, and while this makes it a cultural and economic hub, it also comes with its fair share of problems. After all, the crazy amounts of congestion have considerably reduced the quality of life of its people. It's supposedly for this reason that the government is building the new administrative capital, expected to house embassies, government agencies, the parliament, 30 ministries, a grandiose presidential compound, a green space double the size of New York's Central Park, and some 6.5 million people when completed. 
It's supposed to be an urban metropolis built to the highest standards. However, the money trail seems to point to the fact that the reasons for building the new administrative capital are far from altruistic. For one, 51% of the project is owned by the military. And this means that it will be able to reap massive profits by selling property and real estate once the initiative is completed. Since the actual government has little oversight over military spending, it's likely that corruption is running rampant. And this is made worse by the fact that many outside observers believe that Egypt can't actually afford to build this new city. It's slated to cost a whopping $59 billion. It is essentially just a mega city meant to service the rich. Yet, the country's fragile economy in recent years means that it will likely not be able to pay back the billions in loans it took out to build it. As such, there are real concerns about whether it will be possible to finish this project, making this new city far from a sure thing. Number 1. The Floating City While the UN is an organization that is often accused of doing absolutely nothing, they are backing what will soon be a super high-tech floating city set to be located just off the coast of Busan, South Korea. The city's plans have been fully drafted and construction is set to start in the next few months, and it seems that the project will be pretty incredible. It's set to house a total of 12,000 people. It's being built as part of the United Nations Human Settlements Program, with the goal of the initiative being to test a new model of real estate development led by a sustainable design startup known as Oceanics. The city is being designed to withstand 100-year storms and have a foundation that rises as sea levels do allowing it to essentially last forever. Whether or not sea levels rise to crazy high levels, the city will consist of three different platforms, with the first being designed to hold housing, the second for public spaces like schools and theaters, and the third for research and development, with each platform being connected to the others and to land via bridges, while being anchored to the ocean floor with removable pile moorings. In order to make these moorings as strong as possible, They'll be coated in a buoyant limestone material known as biorock, and in order to lessen the load on the platforms, all the buildings will have a cap of five stories and be made of lightweight sustainable materials such as timber and bamboo. In order to get around, residents will ditch cars and trains and get around via bike or on foot, and in order to be as self-sustaining as possible, the city will feature gardens, solar panels, fresh water filters, and fishing cages to catch scallops or kelp. Both the UN and Oceanics then hope that this model can be applied to other low-lying areas to protect against rising sea levels. Given its budget of $627 million, it seems like they have a lot of hope in the project. However, even in the best-case scenario, the entire project will not be completed before 2025, meaning it will be a while before this futuristic model is realized. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.